Okay. So here's a little bit of a video. It's really crappy out today. It's uh, 11 degrees Celsius, raining. Rained all day yesterday. Um, Friday was beautiful. In fact, it was the only chance to come out and do anything, so I did. And that's what the idea of this video is about. <laughs> uh, there's a thing about being in the right state of mental mind and right state of physical body. <laughs> and Friday I had my worst day tending bees ever. I wasn't doing well so I was hurting. <laughs> but I had to come because it was the only chance I was going to have to do what I need to do. And I'm glad I came because the bees are just, they're just packed in there. So I rearranged things. Uh, I'll tell you about that in a sec. But yeah, so I came out not really doing well. I had brought all this stuff and the frames and everything and unloaded it and everything. And I know that's not a lot to a person without, you know, body problems. <laughs> but it was to me. And that almost should have been where I stopped. Because I'll tell you what I did. First off, I took apart the far colony over there, my number two colony. And I uh, did what I wanted to do. I looked for the queen, I didn't see her, I really wasn't too concerned. I shook all the bees down to the bottom, put one frame of brood opened and uh, some capped and some small, lar small larvae and stuff. That'll give the queen something to do. And the rest of that bottom box I filled up with foundation. Which was, you know, part of my plan. So that was good. Then I put the box all together and realized what I had just done. I forgot to put the queen excluder on. So I took it all back apart and I put the queen excluder on. And then what I meant to do was I meant to take that top honey super and put it in between the two deeps. I put all of the brood up into that center deep and I meant it to go up top so that they would make some swarm cells, queen cells, and I would be able to make some splits with them. Now I might have to do that a different way, which is fine, it'll just take longer. <laughs> so, yeah, I got it all together. And then just when I got here, I realized another thing I did. I didn't give any ways for the drones to get out. So I had to crack the lid and put a stick up there and that'll give them lots of ways to get out. <laughs> but that'll tell you. <laughs> now this one I did well because it's the first one I did. So what I did in this one, instead of wanting to have splits, I want to have production. So I took all the brood it's all down below. All resources and drawn comb in the center there and an extra honey super on the top. And that should work well. It's worked well for me before. <laughs> but yeah, so when you go to your uh, apiary and your bees, it's a good thing to be uh, physically and mentally in the proper state to go do it. So what I've done basically is I wasted my time on that fire box. If I didn't waste it, they might still make some queen cells, but not as easily or quickly as they would if I had to put that super in between. Yeah. So there's my tail. 
other than that, bees are doing good. Lots of dro or lots of brood. I finally got uh, drone cap drone brood. Uh, no walking drone at all. It covers no queen cups, but starting to go. Things are starting to pop. Trees are coming alive. My uh, my uh, cherry tree, my cherry bush in my yard's already blossoming. So. All the little trees around here, all the poplar, everything, all the birch are all out. Maples way over there are starting. Some more over there starting. Can't probably see it up there too. So they're starting to get the uh, maple pollen vector now. Uh, what else would be, I guess, ash would be coming on. Oh... Uh, other stuff. <laughs> Just too many things. Anyways, lots coming on. And, uh, you know, pretty soon we'll be getting all the little uh, flowers on the ground for the strawberries, the wild strawberries. And, but it's still pretty bleak. Nothing here but grass. And, yeah. So that's what we got right now. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyways, probably uh, back in a week or two to check them anyway. Less than two for sure. So, yeah, we'll uh, see you next time.